so this is going to be a quick review of the Dehon SUV folding bicycle as you can see it takes up about half the uh, length of a standard full-size bike the cycle is made of high tensile steel which uh, causes the bike to weigh in at about 15 kilograms appro approximately 15 kilograms and uh, it's it's a really nice color and finish it's somewhere between a glossy and a matte finish and what we're going to try and do is uh, just, uh, see if i can unfold the bike using only one hand uh, the cycle folds in a way that it's not required to lift the cycle up in order to open it so you just open up the main hinge uh, like so and uh, <coughs> that's the uh, that's the business end of the bike the, the sort of latch mechanism which lets the bike split and uh, it's it's really sturdy uh, it, it doesn't flex at all once once it's in it's it's in. it doesn't feel like it's uh, two parts uh, the handlebar goes up like so and uh, again once that is in place and you uh, <coughs> close the uh, close the latch it uh, it stays in place it's uh, it's pretty heavy like if <coughs> you're using two hands it should be no problem but uh, I had to apply quite a bit of force to make sure that that closes but that's a good thing because you don't want the steering uh, section to, to unfold by itself uh, next we do up the seat post uh, it's a fairly thick seat post so uh, uh, again makes the bike uh, sturdy and stiff I did ride the cycle outside for uh, a few kilometers and uh, it soaks up uh, the road really well uh, yes it's heavy which is a disadvantage of steel but the advantage of steel is that uh, it uh, it really improves the ride quality uh, nothing really rides like a steel bike uh, both the frame and the fork are steel the pedals also fold and it's fairly easy to unfold them as you can see uh, just sort of lift it up and it unfolds uh, the bike comes with a carrier and fenders uh, as standard which is kind of nice and the crank is uh, i believe it's a 48 or 50 tooth crank which is you know a criticism that i've had of folding bikes uh, for a long time i don't think they should have such uh, high gearing uh, I think more people would prefer lower gears. Uh, I'm trying to focus in on the Revo shifter. The bike uses a uh, Torni derailleur, a Shimano Torni, and a six speed uh, Revo or grip shifter. Uh, and uh, as I was saying, I'd really like to see easier gearing on these cycles because uh, I think that's what most people who buy them would prefer. Um, and uh, there you have it the cycle unfolds and turns into a full size bike it'll fit almost uh, anyone from the height of four five to six three and uh, you know the great thing about folding bikes is you can you can sort of fold them up and take them anywhere i mean this cycle is heavy so it doesn't uh, it's probably not as portable as a lot of other folding cycles but it still fits into a very small footprint which uh, you know is their biggest advantage uh, they're also super comfortable uh, you have a lot of adjustment and uh, i certainly don't think there's any uh, kind of bicycle that's more comfortable than a folding bike uh, bike uses a standard rear hub front hub is uh, a special sort of uh, retro type hub that Dehun says uh, is more uh, what's the word uh, is stronger uh, than a standard hub for uh, wheels of this size and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I mean if you'd like a detailed review just let me know below if you think I should increase the video quality uh, let me know if you have any questions please feel free to ask and uh, yeah thank you for watching cheers